Hello YouTube viewers and welcome to a, uh, another, I guess you want to call this an interview. Uh, today I have a special guest star. We have here uh, with me today Hawk, the uh, Canadian here, pro player SC2 from Canada. So uh, Hawk, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Um, <laughs> my name's Huck. I am 21 years old. I live in Canada, Ontario. And uh, what's up? Awesome. So yeah, um, how long have you been in the be uh, StarCraft 2 beta right from kind of the opener? Um, no, uh, I don't really know for sure. <laughs> it's kind of hard to differentiate between the times. I want to say, I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. All I right. I wasn't in the beginning, though. I was probably halfway through or later. Oh, wow. So, like, you know, March and April and whatnot? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um, tell us a little bit about your StarCraft One history real quick. Okay, well, I used to play semi-sponsored for this team called Keeper, but it went downhill when, like, uh, a bunch of them got caught hacking. We were trying to make a run for WGT Clan League Division 1, which is, like, all the top teams played, like, all LRM, TOT, um, Xello, a lot of the other top teams that were then really good, and right before we made it, a bunch of my teammates got caught hacking, and then after that, I left... And, I mean, my highest accomplishments from that are, like, Team Canada A, uh, I Cup Highs, or A-1v1, minus uh, and A-plus 2v2. And I was a Terran user in StarCraft 1 for 1v1s. Oh, so you were Terran in StarCraft 1, and you've switched to Protoss for StarCraft 2? Mm-hmm, because they're so OP, because they're so OP. <laughs> Is that the only reason, or do you feel uh, like they are... <laughs> <laughs> No, it was because I, I just liked... Uh, Beastu's play in StarCraft 1, so when I started playing StarCraft 2 beta, I didn't want to play Terran again just because I played them for so long in SC1. I was just like, oh, I'll just try something else, and I've never really tried anything else since then. Oh, really? So, so no random play and no Zerg? Well, like, a few games here and there, but yeah. pretty much, like, 95% of my games have been Protoss. Oh, that's cool. Uh, no, I'm actually a Protoss player myself, so I love watching your <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah. That's to say the least. Um, other than that, so yeah, what clan are you with here in StarCraft 2 now? I uh, recently just switched teams to the French StarCraft 2 team, Millennium. They have like other teams too, like uh, WoW and uh, Counter-Strike, but they're starting up their StarCraft 2 team. So far, it's me and Mo Man. And then our manager, Remy, but we're looking to add other players to our rosters very shortly, and uh, hopefully they're going to be a really competitive team for StarCraft 2. All right, sounds good. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, of course, guys, I haven't introduced myself, but as you know, this is Shaky StarCraft. Go ahead and check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Shaky StarCraft. And this is brought to you again on behalf of glhf.it. Go ahead and check out their website and their YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash GLHF dot, or GLHF IT, what you're watching this on now. Uh, so, Huck, if uh, you want to go ahead and start the game now, I'll do a small countdown. All right. Uh, three, two, one, start. All right, so we've got uh, you spawning here as the green Protoss in the 6 o'clock position, and we've got your opponent, Satini, spawning as the uh, what looks to be orange Terran. <coughs> colorblind. <laughs> it sucks. Um, yeah. The orange Terran here in the three o'clock position. So, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, TVP here on Lost Temple? Um, I like it. I mean, the two watchtowers. Uh, usually, if you can get control of them early, you can kind of force your opponent to stay in his base, and you can kind of control the map really well. PVT. I mean, if they show a lot of aggression early on, you got to kind of back off. But I generally like uh, PVT on this map, although the cliffs can be pretty gay. Yeah, the cliffs outside your choke points can uh, be a little bit tough to penetrate if the Terran opponent is playing more passive. Uh, do you think the spawn positions really make a difference, uh, or does that really not matter on Lost Temple? Uh, no, it definitely matters. Uh, PVT, I don't know if it matters so much. I mean, they could do like a quicker push against you if it was, I mean, like if it was 12-6, obviously it's going to be more oriented towards macro builds, but... These positions, uh, Reaper's really strong, early bio pushes, uh, tank drops, 
you know, they can slowly push up, take the gold expo, and then push your expo, like, in a mid-game push. There's just a lot, a lot of things they can do. Okay. Um, now, I see he kind of built an early Rax, and you did scout this. Uh, do you feel like an early Rax means you need an early Stalker, or what are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I gated pretty late. I didn't feel that worried about it, especially since you didn't throw down an early tech lab, but it's always good to get an early Stalker just because you want to kill his scouting SCV ASAP and apply as much pressure as you can. And if you can't apply pressure, then just uh, take map control and make sure uh, he's not going to be able to scout you again after his uh, first first initial scout. For sure, yeah. I see your probe here uh, didn't quite make it there in time, but uh, a few seconds before your probe got to his gas, he had just transferred workers onto that. So, I mean, if you would have scouted a couple seconds before, you'd have known that there was no possible tech lab coming in the next few, you know, 10 or 15 seconds. But I guess your scout stayed in the base long enough uh, to get the info you needed. Yeah, I just, yeah, make sure he's not doing anything really crazy. I mean... Against other opponents that I've played more, I could kind of judge the range they're going from the very beginning buildings and how many SCVs, how early racks, but this was the first game I think I've ever played Satini, and the only game I played him, so I didn't really know what to expect, and the opening he did seem pretty uh, standard. Okay. So I see you're putting a pile on here at the north end of your base. Uh, now this tends to lead to Protoss hiding tech. Now... Against Terran, I think it seems like it's a really good idea just for the fact that if you deny scouting with a Stalker um, at the front of your base, he's either forced to do a delayed Reaper or to scan your base. And if he has to scan, then hidden tech is really good. Uh, what do you think about that? Oh, I agree completely. You want to deny your opponent as much information and make him sacrifice that energy instead of using it on a mule or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I guess I agree. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, Not for sure. Like... Do you think a Terran's forced to do a scan, and if that, is it completely wasted for the fact that, I mean, they could hide it in the corner of their base? Uh, I, if I was Terran, I wouldn't scan. I'd rather sacrifice, like, a barracks or something. Okay, and we see Just... you've got a small push here with uh, two, two uh, Marauders and a Marine. Uh, I guess you've only got one Zealot here and a Sentry. Do you feel like you're in trouble here? Is his third, <laughs> third Marauders coming up now? Yeah, uh, I was kind of like, oh, this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that's it. But I, I'm pretty confident in my micro, so I wasn't too worried. Plus, probes can tank uh, Marauders decently. I mean, yeah. semi-decently, I guess, as much as you can. Yeah, probably as best as a unit really can, just for the fact that they only take 10 damage from them. So. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like you're really on the back foot here, or do you think you'll be able to hold this off? And oh, I guess he's retreating now, so that's... That's a good thing for you, although your probes are still at the front. Uh, the, that definitely did throw your income off. Uh, what can you do now to kind of reverse the tides and get back on the aggressive? Well, I didn't feel like I was uh, too far behind. I figured he was kind of cutting SCVs to do that kind of early push, and I had a probe at that watchtower the whole time. So I was like, 